Hey guys, um, so I, I couldn't find any videos online showing um, how Buck Knives does a reblade and so I wanted to record this just to, so everyone out there can see what they could expect but uh, about two months ago I was working in the garage and I was doing some stuff and I, I don't even want to get into it but uh, I somehow broke the very tip of my 110 and it's right here see that and it broke halfway halfway down the blade and it was it was just um it was misuse on my part i was doing something i probably shouldn't have done and you know i've owned a lot of different buck 110s and they've never broken this way before i normally you know in the past when like when i was a lot younger i've done i've done some stuff and broke the very tip of it and a lot of times i would just reprofile that but in this case, I wanted to send it back to Buck, and and um, you can you can find their information online, and it costs ten dollars, and basically you ship your knife over there, and it takes them about four to five weeks to get back to you, um, with a brand new blade. And I I don't know exactly what you know how it'll look. I'm hoping that um, maybe they also did a a spa treatment on mine, and the spa treatment is when they polish up uh, the brass and and just almost make it brand new again you know so while this was gone I actually went and purchased a a buck uh, 110 uh, light model these are new actually they started coming out this year and this was this was uh, from Walmart actually and it has um, it has the buck emblem right there the buck badge that you can see on the scales and that is part of it, um, it being a Walmart exclusive. Like most of the other ones that you'll find, they don't have that. And I, and I like it. I mean, this was this was at a great price. And you can find them at Walmart. And they come in the nylon sheath. And so I've been using this one while my other 110 was away. And I just want to... Uh, I wish I had actually filmed uh, what the knife had looked like before. But I did take a picture. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that in the video right now and you and you'll be able to see that so anyway just getting back to this I'm gonna go ahead and open the box and before I take this out let me actually show you just to give you an example of where the break was you guys can kinda of see like what I was saying it was it was probably halfway down the middle Trying to be careful here. I don't want to cut myself accidentally. These are sharp blades. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip that there. Um, it's just my invoice. And here's the knife. Oh yeah, look at that. They did polish it up pretty nicely. You know when I wow. Looks really good. The only thing they didn't fix on the scales, I was kinda hoping they wouldn't. I didn't note it when I sent it in there, but um when I dropped it, I had um I dropped dropped it a while back. Like you can see there's a there's a chip right there in the wood. Trying to get it close up on it, but that's fine. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really matter to me. At least they polished it up real nicely. And by the way, the the old blade was a wow, it looks good. The old blade was a 2008, I believe, and this one here, you know, you can see buck marks the year with a stamp and a marking, and I think that would be. The new marking for 2018. So yeah, $10. Got me a brand new blade. And you can see they always send. Um, I've sent quite a couple of blades back for you know spa treatments, and they give me a 25% coupon. A discount for the if I wanted to order something from their website, which is always nice. 
And a nice little letter from CJ Buck. I'll just kind of show that right here in case you want to read that. So there you have it. Um, I guess while I'm at it, I might as well show you a little bit, compare the, uh, the Buck Light with the, the older 110 folder. Pretty much same. The only the only difference is the weight. You know, this one being lighter, of course, but you do have the same same blade. And there is there is a difference. Like the the actual um, the traditional folder has more of a polish on the blade, and, and the one ten the buck lights I've been looking at all have a um, I can't remember what this is called, stone wash. It has a stone wash finish, so I wanna wanna kinda show that too. So you guys can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I might I might do another video just to kind of compare these two in more detail but um thanks for watching hope that kind of helps you guys out and you know don't hesitate if you do break one of your blades um it's one of the perks of owning a buck is they they have great warranty and they're able to replace uh, blades and get something back that's almost like brand new